the 90 years of Nürburgring celebration. Look how the speedometer is working. Old school AMG. It's of course the 935. Wow, 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 wow. Good morning, or actually I should better say good afternoon, comrades, because right now it is, as you can see, 13 or 1 o'clock, 17 minutes. And like I told you today, uh, the North Shrive is closed for the public session, so there is the 90 years of Nürburgring celebration. And that means, so on the schedule we have, that's for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have uh, soon from 13.30 is going to be a race, a three hour race that we are going to check out. This I'm going to check out for you, I'm going to check out the paddock, uh, what's it like. I was either too lazy or too late to get my media accreditation, so what I will be showing you is, well, will be limited to what you can see as a casual spectator. So I don't know what the limits are, but I hope I will be able to get close to the cars. And yeah, and I hope as well that 10, 10, 10, 28 euros will be worth it. So, 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 let's get aside, say hello to a couple of friends. Um, couple of friends, morning, midday. Dimitri, our hotel tester, tester, test driver is here for a short visit. He's not staying in our hotel, however, Ian with the Mini is staying and as a matter of fact, he was the very, very, very first booker of the hotel, if you do not count the 24 hours uh, bookings by their group. Yeah, lots of classic cars rolling by, oh, you spotted some, so let's head out to the GP track and see what's happening, or should we, should we, should we... Since the start is in about 15 minutes, let's maybe go to Brunchen or something and see what's happening there. Whoa! Wow! So I kind of missed the start because uh, I got caught up in the everyday stuff. So again, for those of you who are saying, like, what are you doing every day? You're just you're having fun. No, I also have to miss a lot of fun because I have also a lot of office work to do. But damn, look at all those amazing cars. And unfortunately, since my specialty is not classic cars, nor was I born like 70 years ago, I cannot tell the majority of them. But the first two cars that we saw, those two big ones, remind me like of the Beast of Turin, the big Fiat. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you like it? I like it. That's really cool. Really, really cool. You know, we should have actually dressed up as like old school people. I kind of. You're not really old school. It's not really polka dot or uh, well, polka dot is 50s. It's still too late. Should have been a lot earlier, like 30s. But yeah, yeah. Uh... So, welcome on the Nürburgring. Not many cars are here. I don't know whether already or just not many cars are here because most of them are racing. But let's see what we have. I would say Silver Arrow, but it's not Silver Arrow because I see BMW badge on it and Silver Arrow is obviously a Mercedes. But yeah, you know, at this point, I know I kind of we're like probably like three minutes into the video, but I think this is going to be like 60 hour, 60 hour, it could be 60 hour vlog. I could make it, but definitely a 60 minute vlog because so much amazing stuff is happening here. All those old school accessories that you can get. The gloves, suitcases, wow. <laughs> this is really cool. One of the events that I uh, really want to visit still, that I haven't unfortunately yet, is the Goodwood Festival of Speed. 
and the similar classic events. But now I'm very happy, very happy that I am here and seeing all those classic cars. Wow. Let's check out the big red beast over there. Oh no, the, that big white beast over there that we saw driving past us earlier. I really wonder what this is, but it looks damn impressive and especially since it's driving. Looks like uh, one of the old school rally cars because you see like a net for helmets and hmm. La France, no idea. Is it a six cylinder? Looks like it. Wow, what is it? I seriously, to be honest, I might have heard once of such a car, but it doesn't ring any bell. La France. And <laughs> look at the transmission, chain transmission. Wow. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. And then similar big silver Bentley, Bentley, Bentley. That's really nice. Diana? Yes. This is La France and she's going to live with us. Okay. Are you okay with us? Sure. <laughs> Could you stand next to the big car? I want to have you for scale. Wow. <laughs> And then the Mercedes, it's interesting. I hear a radiator, wow. So they did have, or I mean a ventilator on the radiator. Interesting to see that they already had those back in the days. Now what is this? That looks... Hanomak, hmm. Impressive. Yeah, we can really see many cars here that I have never heard of ever before and probably will not hear ever about again. Now the BMW. Now blue is usually a color for Bugatti, but I kind of doubt it in this case. What is it? Um, tum, 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 tum. British flag. Alrighty. <laughs> That's really cool. And then this red big thing that we also saw earlier, locomobile. We, it can go two ways. Either it's like a locomotive, like you know, so it runs on steam, or it's just like loco, Spanish crazy. And I would go for the second version. Really, <laughs> what I really like about this one is it really looks used, but look at the, oh no. Oh, ouch, another member of a bungar club, but it looks nothing, nothing bad happened to it, so I guess just some uh, mechanical failure or something. And <laughs> the guy inside, I'm not sure if you could see it on the video, was smoking. But anyway, look at the instrument panel, look how the speedometer is working. That's really, really cool. That's really uncommon for today, obviously. And here, the RPM. Wait, why doesn't it say like times thousand or times hundred? Is it really 25 RPM? Hmm, that wouldn't make sense, but then again, maybe it kind of would. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Watch out, the warning sign, two wheel brakes. So that's really like stopping power monster so you will not rear end it. Oh, that's the, the big thing again. Wow. Too bad I couldn't film it from up close. But <laughs> wow. Now I wonder, since it's 90 years of Nürburgring, whether those cars have anything to do with Nürburgring, if any of those have raced the Nürburgring before. I know of course some of them have, but imagine this big mastodont, La France, going on the ring. And underneath, look at the clutch going mad. If we already blessed with such a machinery on this small paddock area, let's see what's happening on the Grand Prix paddock. And then we have arrived, as promised, to the paddock of the sport cars and GTS. 
And unfortunately, I have to disappoint you. There is only Morgan here. Some classic BMW, to be honest, I have no idea what type it is, but I'm pretty sure we'll find a badge. And then here, um, 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 yeah. Yeah. Again, something that I don't know. Which looks like an MG or something, something British. British. But this is a BMW 2000. Uh huh. Nice. Very nice. But I assume that most of the cars are just racing. And I already seen some cars driving by. And actually, I'm not that disappointed that I've missed them because they are, of course, special, but there is nothing like extraordinary. So, for example, we see BMW E30, probably an M3. And I wouldn't say that it's like something that I've never seen before in my life. And then lots of other classic Porsches, 914s, 911s, so for example, like we have over there. So let's just walk on the paddock and see if we can spot something truly magnificent. And we didn't have to walk far to find something truly special, breathtaking, amazing. And I am at Kramer Racing and that's, well, you probably already guessed and you probably already seen a tip of the tail when I showed you the Kramer Racing sign. It's of course the 935, one of my most ever desirable Porsches. If I would have millions in the bank because those cars are worth millions right now i would definitely get one of those the traditional probably i think it's the the first one k1 kramer 935 and then the evolution with the jägermeister livery <laughs> if i would be boosted boris well you would know what kind of jokes would come out of here twin turbochargers at the end in the back mounted and then the more recent versions of kramer 935 which is based on the 997 and which were racing last year in VLN but unfortunately I don't know for what reason aren't anymore this year which is of course but I'm also filming but well unfortunately the creamer personnel doesn't like that much that you're welcome thank you now I'm not really interested anymore to show anything so let's move on Diana Well, since the team members of Kramer Racing weren't that inviting, I decided to move on to the pit lane and show you some action. Although most of the action is happening on the track, but let's see what kind of cars are still stored in the pit boxes. And well, we already see some nice wide hips. So it's already won the first spot in this 90 year race. Huh. And of course, the Carrera RSR with the very cool, very cool helmet graphics. That's amazing. And then in the pit box next to it, a double car porn, triple car porn for which I even taking off my glasses. Look at that. 1M. No, not 1M, but an M1 because I always had to learn relearn myself to uh, call 1M 1M but because this is the real M1 and next to it I think it, no not a Jaguar but matching steering wheel the Evercream I wonder what this is Veritas never heard of it but you can see that the body is completely like handmade I'm pretty sure it's not really handmade body with old school hammer but but I just getting mesmerized by the M1s Oh shit, that's really great. And what, what did this win? First, first place, two first places for the 100 miles race of this 90 year celebration. Wow, old school timer, no data logging, stack meters. This is truly amazing. And then yeah, of course you can use it as a table. <laughs> More classic car porn. Are you kidding me? Like a professional studio setup for just a picture of a wrench. Alfa Romeo, I believe. Getting flashbacks to the fuel faction tour that I had with me a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah. And then also something for American muscle lovers. Awesome Mustang. This is truly awesome. The state that it's in. 
It's truly amazing, truly awesome. Wow. <laughs> Classic hood lock. That pit stop looks exactly the same as a VLAN one. <laughs> the only problem is they spend as much time opening the hood as a complete pit stop of a VLAN pit stop. Well, we are almost at the end of the pit lane, so I just have a look what they have here. Oh yeah, of course, it was a classic race event without the Mercedes 190. And there's a bit of a much music here to keep on filming. But I'm sure there'll be a lot of other cars outside. Oh yeah, a DTM C-Class. And then a bit more classic Mercedes, followed by a very sad sight. A crashed because crashes are also part part of the race and yeah crashed 190e ouch probably spun out and hit the barrier with the rear uh, but I hope it's fixable I hope it's fixable <sighs> still too much music but the one car that's mandatory to show you with which Juan Manuel Fangio became the world champion in the Formula One in 1955 and remember this car because I'm gonna show it to you later on. We're almost back out of the paddock and just some final 90s DTM carport. And starting with E30 M3s with Isomon and Warstein and liveries, then Camel 190. And then here the car that made me squeal in Alfa Romeo Museum 155 V6. Wow, 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 wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just one more close-up with hmm, interesting clear lights of the Camel. Yeah, Camel. Camel was probably the most popular um, cigarette brand in Russia in the 90s for some stupid reason. It wasn't Marlboro, it was Camel. And if you read it like in, uh, in Russian, in Cyrillic, it would be like Sam Mel and the like they nicknamed it Samets, which was like Alpha Male, just like a short cultural thing to you. Um, and then Hugo Boss again, 190. And then I guess it's pretty much it. Okay, just a bit more of 190 because it's the amazing opportunity to show you under its hood the Cosworth engine. Look at the old school AMG pattern on it. So, goodbye paddock of Nürburgring, the classic event has come to an end for me. The one more Mercedes I wanted to show you and not this taxi, at least I think it is a taxi, but this, like I told you if you remember, I said remember the Formula 1, the 1955 Mercedes of Juan Manuel Fangio, because here at the entrance to the classic paddock, here's a monument for him and the Mercedes, which was actually built on the 19th June of 2002, exactly 15 years ago when Nebuchadnezzar celebrated 75th um, jubileum or... Um, is that a word in English? It isn't Dutch, it isn't German, it is in Russian. Yeah, let me know. It's like The problem when you're a multilingual person. Is it a word in English? Jubileum? Jubileum? Jubilee. Yeah, Jubilee. I don't, I don't no. <laughs> what? Anniversary. A anniversary, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, in this case, English had to come up with its own name. And I wonder what they're gonna do for 100 years of Nervicring. Stay tuned. I hope I will still be vlogging in 10 years. We'll see. What do you think? I think you will. Ah, okay. And a quick fast forward back to Apex and I want to show you some progress that has been happening on Club Apex. So yesterday they plastered all of the outside. So as you can see, the upper part is probably going to be white. I think it is going to be white. It's more certainly going to be white, but the lower part will still maintain its classic stone look. Can I call it stone look? Like stone look seems as if someone's baked. 420! Ah! Anyway. Um, yeah, it's a lot of trash inside, but on the interior, yep, they also been plastering that part, filled up with, um, 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 um what's it called? Forgot the name in English again. My English is not that strong today for some reason. Peepscham in Dutch. 
that's a very weird ass word. Also upstairs the same and then then there's going to be a three by three meter window which is probably well like that from the upper wall up to the the wooden beam so something like that so you can see the castle. A small update we're gonna have a lift here most probably because we want to start service our own cars kind of workshop and lounge at the same time I think it's kind of cool to have like a lounge and the workshop at the same time not just like you know showroom would be cool, would be cool, I guess, I think. We'll see, stay tuned to find out in like one and a half months. I'm gonna fast forward into the sunset at one of my most favorite places, La Lanterna. As I told you, time for a food shot, time to end this vlog. And the reason why we came here, because that little girl here wanted ice cream. Yes? Close the door, somebody's gonna steal the gold. Oh yeah, we don't want that to happen. No, we want to sell it. <laughs> yeah, true. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely have. It was an amazing day, amazing event, the 90 years of Nürburgring celebration. Unfortunately, I realized that um, we should have came there earlier, like for example, yesterday or the day before yesterday, because there weren't that many cars, but uh, still the cars that we did see were amazing. Apart from annoying team members from Kramer Racing, like what the... You get my deal, you catch my drift, that was really not cool, not cool, but let's finish on a positive note and that is the food shot and what's gonna happen in tomorrow's vlog, tomorrow's vlog we're gonna have a track day um, by I believe Schnelle Schwaben, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I think it's them, uh, nevertheless the GT86 is going out for 12 laps uh, with my dear friend Matis uh, who had the Cupra for the first time and also who was racing the Lada last Monday, which is like exactly a week, no, yes, yes, exactly a week ago when I was in Russia. Um, yeah, and also tuning the BMW to 18, adding 50 more horsepower, Ooh. and we'll see, something more, something more. So for now, this amazing sunset, and also the food shots, and in tomorrow's vlog, bye-bye! <laughs> Yeah. I'm a whiskey. On the shot? Yeah. yeah. What a surprise. What? <laughs> whiskey. Whiskey. It's the best one. It is. Actually, I want to tell you a small story. About three years ago, in 2014,